that Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the ruffled edge. And this is a really, really simple uh, pattern. It's going to be a very short tutorial um, on how to make it. Uh, it's basically the same repeat in every single stitch around. doesn't have any corner stitches. And I think the hardest part of, on this pattern, it's actually shaping up um, uh, the ruffles to look like this. Uh, so let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a Aran yarn in green and a 5mm crochet hook. Um, I'm also working around my sample, which is just um, a square made with double crochet stitches around which I crocheted a base border. A uh, base border for blankets is just a simple uh, double crochet around along uh, all edges and what it does it creates neat edges neat corners um, straight edges also put stitches along the edge and that will make it easier for you to uh, count your stitches now this pattern for the ruffled border does not require you to have any multiples of stitches so whatever stitches you have um, it's it's good you don't need to count them around also it does not have a corner uh, pattern for it or we are crocheting the same repeat in each of the stitches so let's start and make a slip knot and you can start in any um, any uh, uh, stitch along your uh, border I will just start in a corner as usual and then I will chain three and this counts as a double crochet. Now into the same stitch, make four more double crochet. And now we have five double crochet in this corner stitch. Now this is also your repeat section. All you have to do is to make five double crochet in each of the stitches no matter if they are along the edge or into the corners makes no difference so um, let's make uh, another one so into the next stitch make five double crochet I also crochet over my end I think is the easiest way to uh, weave in your end that will save you some time at the end okay so let's make five double crochet And five and you can see now um, the, the stitches are quite crowded and pushing against each other and you will make uh, this uh, border um, curl and creates the ruffles now let's make a couple of more repeats so I can show you how it uh, ruffles up so five double crochet into the next four and five and one more five double crochet into the next three and four and five and we also crocheted over our end now you can see now how it curls up um, it's very crowded uh, now you can experiment with your stitches because I'm working with Aran. This is quite thick and five stitches in each uh, of the stitches along the edge. It's plenty enough to make this border curl. Um, if you work with double crochet, uh, you can even try six. If you work with a thicker yarn, you can go down to a four per stitch. Uh, it's all up to you and how ruffled you want your uh, border to be. Um, I with Aran I like um, uh, I like it with uh, five. Now if I will do this blanket in double knit, I will I will choose six. So um, next I will show you how to um, shape the ruffles up uh, because they will just randomly curl and it will not look even. So I will make uh five double crochet in each of these stitches along until i reach the next corner and then i'll come back to you and i'll show you how to shape it up 
So now I have crocheted in each of these stitches along including the corner and as you can see the stitches are really crowded but they didn't fold um, very nicely. So some of the loops are longer, the other ones are shorter and you will have to shape them up with your hands. And this is pretty si simple, just, uh, just fold them up, make sure the loops are equal to each other roughly and just fold them like so and you will have to do this uh, all along your uh, edges wherever you crocheted this uh, ruffle edge and just use your hands to shape them up like this now as you can see um, the ruffles are quite busy and I only used uh, five stitches for each stitch in the edge. Now uh, it's only because I'm using Aran. If you'd use double knit yarn um, it would be a different uh, look. I will continue to crochet the ruffle edge all around my sample and I'll come back to you at the end. I'll show you how to close it and how uh, the whole project looks like. So now I've crocheted all around my um, sample and to close uh, this round all you have to do is a slip stitch at the top of chain 3 you've made at the beginning. So just make a slip, slip stitch in there, cut the yarn and pull through. Now this is how it looks like and you can see the ruffles are pretty un uneven. Uh, you just have to uh, shape them up with your hands. Uh, you can also leave them like this if you like more unruly uh, ruffles. I like mine uh, neatly and equally folded. So just use your your hands and um, shape them, like I said, uh, equally. Make equal folds all around. All right, so this is how it looks like once folded. They're pretty neat. Uh, they look nice from both sides. And it looks really nice on a blanket with um, a really plain uh, pattern like this one, for example. So if you have a blanket that has a, a plain flat pattern, uh, this sort of uh, border will add some sort of texture to it and some sort of interest. So again, remember I use five stitches for each of these stitches on the edge. If um, you are using a thinner yarn, then uh, all you have to do is put more stitches, experiment and see how it looks like. You don't want it to uh, be too crowded, but you also want it to be uh, curly like this. So yeah, this is how you crochet the ruffle edge. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you. Happy crocheting!